Y'all, Mimi is so freaking pretty. She's just so cute. Yeah. Did you know you're cute? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Say good morning, Bells. Good morning, Bells. Say we're going to church. I gotta take the gum. No, you don't need that. Are you going to church? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. We're on our way to church. Praise the Lord. For real, for real. We need it. We need some prayer. So we're going to go that foot in church. Right, we in church. But Mimi wants to go where the little kids are over there. Right? Ooh, you going to play with the little kids? You're so funny. She's like, Mama, I want to go in there. I'm like, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I said yes. She needed a cookie too, that's why she has cookies. I did say yes. Uriah Bell comes forward wanting to repent of sin and rededicate his life to God. He states prayers for my family with our future endeavors. Yeah. What? Um, I just recently got out of the service, and so right now my family, my wife, and my daughter are in a transition process to be, become a civilian and get a civilian job. So I just want to pray for them. Amen, brother. Thank you for your service. It's after church, and it's someone's 90th birthday. At church. Okay, so last time y'all saw me, I was in church. Right now we're in front of Golden Corral. Um, we went and ate and stuff. Oh, I don't know, it's hot for some reason. Like, it's it's weird. It's a weird kind of feeling right now in Ohio. I wanted to tell you guys what he was preaching today. He kind of spoke to me because he was saying that, you know how you sit and you think like, why God, why me? Like, why am I going through all this stuff? What's going on in my life? Like what would it why one has a moment in their life where they're like why god why he said it's your testimony basically god is doing things and things are happening in your life and you're like why because he wants you to be able to help others that are going through situations and um points in their lives he wants you to be able to have gone through something so that you can help and be a testimony to your struggle your survival or whatever so that's what he was basically talking about um today which was really really touching to me because i was just talking to y'all like i think yesterday or something like just being upset with myself just having anxiety just going through a lot of things that i go through in my life depression a lot of things that i go through and just hearing that it's like god is getting you ready to be a testimony for other people and the fact that i have this platform it's like that's me hit the nail on the head that's me okay that's me girl that's me so i took that message and anything that i go through in my life i'm going to continue to be an outlet for you guys i'm going to i'm going to continue to spread my story my testimony my situations i don't care how many people say it's fake for views i don't care how many people say why is she doing that she needs to just keep things in she needs to do this, this and that why it's not helping nobody me keeping stuff to myself isn't helping no one so if i can get through stuff if i can overcome humps if i can get over the struggle of whatever i'm going through if someone else is going through that same thing and they see my vlogs and they see how i dealt with there they see me um overcome things then maybe that would be the push that they need to get out of bed and live you know what i'm saying live like even if i could save a life like that that would just be amazing like you, just, you guys just don't understand. The people who don't deal with anxiety, who don't deal with depression, who don't go through a lot of things in their lives really won't understand. But for the people out there who watch me because they're dealing with something, y'all understand where I'm coming from. Y'all understand. Um, and I just basically understood why I was giving my platform and why I felt the urge to spill everything. Like all my tea, honey whatever tea i got i'm like i just need to tell the bells like i don't know why i feel so compelled to do that and now i feel like i do i feel like that's like my purpose in life i feel like like i talked a lot when i was a kid and i talk a lot now and i feel like that 
I, God gave me the gift of gab, okay? Not like gab, like gossip, because I really don't gossip. I just talk. I've always been one to just talk freely. Like, I don't care. I have no filter. I don't care what anybody else thinks. I don't care if um, someone doesn't like me just because of what I say. Like, I just speak. I speak whatever is on the top of my dome, I speak. So, yeah, I really appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. So, that's what happened. And then we went to, um, where are we at? Golden Corral, like got into it with a waitress, y'all. I thought it was about to be a fight, so I was trying to record, but it didn't happen. So, yeah, and now we're about to head back home. Okay, so I just got pricked. This is my little band. Um, like my finger got pricked. If y'all can see, it's like red right there. And um, they just basically checked my body and stuff because I was saying that um, my limbs were feeling how they have been feeling, like I've been telling you guys. And now I'm just waiting on the results of the glucose test and to see. Y'all, I'm convinced that my body is just as crazy and over dramatic as I am. The test came back great. My sugar is normal. Nothing's wrong with me as in glucose test wise. They examined me. Nothing's wrong with my body. I don't have any rashes. I don't have anything like specifically wrong with me visually or physically as in like the blood testing for the glucose test. Now, other blood testing I can do, I'll have to go and um, go when I move and stuff and get a, a primary physician and then do it from there if it persists. But she was just saying like drink a lot of water and try to change my diet and she gave me some um, muscle relaxers. So I'm waiting on the prescription now and then I'm going to head out. But y'all, I feel like I just did the most today. Like I did so much today. Church went to get myself checked out like went to go and corral that wasn't on the agenda but i'm saying i feel like i got so much accomplished today and i feel good like i feel good i'm glad that that test came back and i don't have to sit and think like what if maybe in the back of my mind as i'm moving and stuff you guys were right i needed to get myself checked out asap so i did and everything is good as of now so Thank the Lord. Thank you for all of your prayers. Thank you for all of your comments and all of your positivity in the last vlog. That was amazing. And it really, really pushed me to come to the hospital because I was like, girl, she's too cute for death. Like, I keep trying to tell y'all, like, <laughs> boo, like, if I die, like, where is all this beauty going? That's why I want to know. Where would all this beauty be? <laughs> Six feet under is not a good look. Okay. Muscle relaxing. I hope I don't sh on myself. <laughs> but that's just for my muscles being on fire and all that stuff um, that I was telling her about. So she's helping me out with that. And I will see y'all later. I don't know if I'm going to vlog later on today. But I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the comments if I don't. Flow. Where? Alright, alright. Bye y'all.